Hey Chief, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama. Uh, about to shoot you a walk around video of this 2005 Kenworth tanker. Uh, I just did a walk around of it myself. That's what I do with these videos. I try to look at the places that are the worst places cosmetically so I can point them out in the video. Uh, it's mainly the stuff we've talked about, uh, the stuff on the dash that we need to take care of, and then um, some little uh, rusty cosmetic stuff. I'll try to show you that and I'll get you a good, try to get you a good sense of the undercarriage. Uh, it's like I told you, I looked at it last week. It's got some surface rust on it, but there's not anything that looks uh, close to being problematic uh, as it sits right now. So, uh, hope this video will be a help to you. Here you go. See my reflection um, in the paint. The paint's in really nice shape. Uh, it's a 20,000 mile truck, and so you can see it's got a good uh, shine to it. It's not faded or flattened out at all. Um, the interior here's that that we talked about. This stuff's coming off, so uh, I think we can. I, I, that's not paint. It feels like a paper kind of a thing. So we're gonna we'll see what we can do to fix that up. And then here's the ugly uh, where the ugly stuff is coming off the dash i'm not sure how, how our guys will fix that i would think they probably would just kind of strip it down and paint it would be my guess uh a little over eighteen thousand miles it does have an hour gauge if you can see that there about two thousand engine hours so that's what we expect it to be about ten percent uh hours to be about ten percent of the miles oh, panel looks good cross lays up there. Uh, the front tires look good. Give me a tread on them. The rear tires are close. I think they might have passed DOT from a spec standpoint, but we probably, that one doesn't look good there. It's like kind of cupped. We probably need to look and see what we can do uh, to try to help with the maybe some new tires on the rear of the truck. I think it, if it doesn't need it right now, it's going to be close enough to needing it. There's a compartment right there. So uh, from a rust standpoint, this will be one indicator. When a truck is really rusty underneath, uh, these springs and the suspension and everything show it. And you see it's got sort of a, again, just the surface rust on it. Um, this is a part of it. So you got a little bit of stuff here and there uh, on the surface. And then the rear of the truck is where we see that uh, the worst. Uh, where we see rust doors because that's where the salt water collects and you can see uh pretty clearly i mean there's some rusty stuff there's the frame rails like it's, it's just not into the frame rails at all now if the, if the ugliness of it bothers you as i mentioned uh we can do our undercoating process uh kind of expensive but that will take it completely away if y'all decide um, that it's that bad. I should have mentioned this. I sh uh, saw it. They actually knocked some of the paint off on both sides when they were removing the lettering. I hate it when that happens. Uh, hopefully we can, uh, you can get it lettered over that, hopefully, and cover most of that up. It just doesn't look, uh, doesn't look very good. Uh, here's another. So here's the, uh, there's where it's gotten through the diamond plate. Obviously, we'll just replace all of that. It's the same as the other side. It's just this piece of metal must have held it. Because that's just, that whole thing is rotten. So we'll replace that whole piece uh, there and then put new diamond plate again. Try to get under here again where you can see. So there's the frame rails again. Parts of the frame rails don't, don't even have, like, they're completely black. But there is some, you know, rusty stuff here and there. Uh, but this is, that'd be a, I mean, on a zero to 10 scale, this is a probably a seven undercarriage. It's just not significant at all uh, from a structural standpoint. Uh, just sort of ugly. And then the, uh, 
engine compartment is super clean as you would expect it to be with such low miles. There's a frame rail again on the front. It doesn't have any, it doesn't show any rust at all. Compartment's very clean, uh, like we said, just doesn't have a lot of miles on the truck. So, there's the video. Uh, I'll get that out to you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to, to try to help you all with this tender and uh, let me know what else I can do. Thanks. <laughs>